Hey guys, so welcome to the first session of Doodle Club. I just want to say welcome and we're just going to get a few activities done um, but bear with because this is my first time doing a video like this as well so just going to put that out there but um, yeah I'm um, super excited to get started so let's go. So we're going to start off with an A4 piece of paper and we're going to just fold it in half. We're not going to worry about it too much being perfect, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to turn that A5 piece of paper into an A6 and we're just going to fold along and then we're going to unfold and we're going to use those creases as guidelines. So then we're going to take a straight edge or a ruler and a marker or a black felt tip and we're going to just draw along the lines and we're going to draw along to create an A5 and two A6 shapes on our page. We're then going to just doodle whatever comes into our head. We're not going to worry about it too much. So I've started off with a flower with just some simple shapes with a circle and some kind of sausage shapes. Going to go in with some dots in there and then I'm going to just add in a little bit of detail just to create it more like a flower. Just a little tip that you can pause me at any time. So if at any point you want a little bit more time drawing, that's fine. And then just start me off again when you're ready. So next I'm going to draw a Sharpie marker pen, I think, and I'm going to go with the lid and I'm just going to draw the kind of basic shapes out. I'm not going to worry about it too much and just add a little bit of a rounded edge to give it that 3D effect. And then going on to the bottom end of the pen and adding in some lines and dashes, just giving it kind of like a more rounded look. And add a little bit of kind of shading just to create a bit of texture in there and just stick back into the lid there and then next i think i'm gonna just add in a little ruler and add in the centimeters in there and then the half centimeters and then i'm just gonna add in the millimeters and just add in that last one there and i'm gonna just go in with some patterns and some wiggly lines and then do wiggly lines that fit into the previous one if that makes sense and then we're just going to do a few of them not even counting <laughs> um, and then I'm going to just go in with some triangles and some wobbly shapes down here that just kind of fit the space and I'm just going to just kind of go with it see what happens And then I'm just going to carry that on into this kind of big space here. And I'm just going to draw some little kind of shapes inside as well. And I'm just going to just see what kind of what creativity kind of comes out. Not think about it too much. And then I'm going to go kind of really strange with the shapes down here, I think. And I think I'm just going to finish off with one big shape in the corner there and just do some little ones inside. Okay guys, so we're going to start off. We're going to go with our theme of planets today. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm just going to go freehand with it. If you're not comfortable with going freehand, find lots of different size circles around your house and I'm just going to sketch in some kind of sketchy wobbly lines in there with a little kind of almond shape and I'm going to follow around that almond shape to kind of create a casing around it and I'm just going to sketch out those lines around. I'm just going to take my fine liner and I'm just going to draw around and just connect that up and then I'm just going to follow where I've already put those guides in and it's made it a lot easier for me so I'm just going to hold my pen quite far down so I have less control 
because we don't really want straight lines within this we want those wobbly lines that nature's created and then I'm gonna start off on another planet over in the corner and I'm gonna just sketch it out I'm not, I'm not too sure about that I'm just gonna rub out that little bit of sketching there just keep it quite tidy so it makes it a lot easier and a lot more professional in the end so I'm gonna just add in the rings around the planet so I'm gonna just mark them in and then I'm just gonna rub out any of the lines that I don't want in the end so make sure that you keep on top of that and then I'm just gonna bring those lines to create the rings across and I'm gonna do a curve to create that kind of round sphere effect that you want of a planet I'm just gonna kind of darken up so I can see where I want to go over with those markers and with my fine liner and then I'm gonna go around being careful of where I draw and then draw along those lines with the rings and just follow it around being quite cautious but just kind of seeing what, how the pen works as well just experimenting doing quite fast kind of dashes as well there I'm just going to add in kind of a darker border around the planet there of an experiment see if you can draw some stars and things see if you can add color to the planet what planet that's the thing also let me know what planets they are and if I've done them well enough as well because I did do a little bit of research so I'm gonna start off with my third planet and I'm just gonna rotate my page just like that and then I'm gonna just add in some dashes in there just to kind of create that curved effect again that we want we're just gonna go in there and experiment see what works what doesn't work not gonna worry too much it's just doodles and then I'm gonna just go in and add a little bit of kind of texture and shading on this planet I'm just gonna be just kind of like quite light with it because when I go in with the marker I kind of sharpen up those kind of shading areas and then I'm gonna go in with my marker go around the outside of the planet And then I'm going to just go over those dashes and just go slightly over the planet and create a kind of little corner, like a little crease um, around to give it that proper 3D effect. And then I'm going to go in with my marker, or my fine liner, sorry, and then I'm just going to add in those kind of details over where I kind of sketched in the middle there. And I think I am pretty happy with that. So I'm now gonna just grab my pencil and draw in my fourth planet. I'm just gonna go in there and just gonna sketch out the circle. And then I'm just gonna do it slightly off the page so I'm thinking about the composition of where I'm drawing as well to kind of maximise 
the space and I'm going to just draw in kind of some squiggly lines, some kind of blobs almost, kind of like paint on a paint palette kind of shape. So um, these aren't too kind of technical and scientific down to a T, but I did try my best with my research. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go in there and add Detailing with some kind of those rubbery lines that we were doing earlier. And just add a little bit of kind of movement into the planet when we start 3D. And then I'm gonna draw around with my fine liner, or if you've got a felt tip or whatever you guys have got. And then I'm just gonna draw around those kind of blobs that I've done. work with it, see what, how you feel, make it your own style, and I'm just going to go quite quickly with this one, just up here, there you go, and then my sixth planet is going to be just slightly smaller than the fifth one that I've just drawn as well, and I'm just going to kind of go really squiggly, almost kind of like drawing a tree or a sheep, like a little abstract tree, and then um, with the kind of bushy leaves, and then I'm going to go in with my marker, and I'm just going to draw around and use those as guides again, and like I say, I've said it before, and uh, it's just a good way of helping yourself when you kind of give yourself a guide with pencil, but then it's also good to get practice without a pencil and just draw with marker. So mix it up and I'm just going to draw in some kind of shade in the kind of squiggly lines in there. And then I'm going to go around the sixth planet and I'm just going to add in some blobs, some wiggly blobs again. I'm just going to just darken it up. And just kind of shade around my blobs. Just kind of doing it quite freely. Just add a little bit of shading to show kind of different tones there. And then I'm gonna go in with my pencil again. I'm gonna just draw a circle up here, I think. And another one down here, so that's my seventh and my eighth planets. So they're getting smaller, so let me know if you can name all the planets. And I'm just going to add in some little kind of squiggles in there, a little bit of texture, quite freely go around with my fine liner. And I'm going to just go quite quite rough and messy, do some dots, some lines, some squiggles, and then my tiny little planet down here, I'm going to just go in there, I'm going to just kind of go in with that kind of cauliflower tree, bush, sheep kind of, but just around the edges, not too much in the middle, and do a tiny little bit of cross hatching in there just to shade it out as well. Okay then guys, so let me know how many that you get right. So we've got Jupiter here, first off, and then we've got Saturn over here in the corner with the rings around it. And then over in the other corner, we have Uranus. And we've got, just see that a little bit. And then down here, we have Neptune. And then we've got Venus and Earth. And then we have Mars and then Mercury to finish off. 
and there's our space themed doodles for this week okay guys so our theme this week is red so we are gonna start off with just getting some resources ready i'm just gonna get a few different shades of red as the main colors you can use other colors in there and then i'm gonna get a pencil and i'm gonna just sketch out an idea that comes to my head and i've already got circles in my head i think from planets so a tomato is um is gonna be a little character for me today so i'm gonna do a little flick on a little bit of green kind of leaf that connects to the vines and I'm going to give them some eyes and just some kind of little bushy eyebrows in there and then I'm going to give him quite a smiley mouth and kind of show his tongue and his teeth there and then I'm going to draw his neck and because oh, I feel like I missed a trick I should have done the up, other way around and done his vines connecting to his head kind of thing <laughs> but there we go, we learn from every time we doodle. And I'm gonna just draw a little body and some arms, a little polar one in there. Can I that up? And I'm just gonna press a little bit darker with my pencil because I was pressing quite lightly. And make sure that I rub out any of those kind of unwanted lines that I don't want there. And then I'm gonna go in with just testing my pens and just seeing what kind of shades I've got there just so that I've already got it in my head and with mine they have numbers on there and names so I'm just gonna write the numbers so that I don't forget it just makes it a little bit easier for myself and then do a little sample of my sharpie there so I've got 206 193 and then a red sharpie that I'm gonna choose I'm just gonna draw a little kind of bubble shape around there just to kind of complete it off in the corner so I'm going to just start off with kind of like a peachy colour first which is 3572 and I'm going to just go in just kind of as a base colour just find it easier than working on white um, so if you kind of find a lighter tone or a colour that's in the colour that you're using. Use a piece of paper underneath if your table's already messy with marker. I always forget and I forget to wipe up my table as well after every session. I do that many sessions now. <laughs> so there we go. And I'm just gonna finish off colouring it in. There's head and there we go. And then I'm going to go in with the kind of lighter shade of red that I have. I'm just going to add a little bit of shade in there. Just in. I'm not going to worry about it being too perfect because when I go around in with a black fine liner or if you've got a marker or felt it, it kind of just gives it that finished look. Um, but yeah, just keep going until finished and sometimes it does just work out unexpectedly very well. Okay and then I'm just going to leave a little bit uncoloured with the red just to kind of show a highlight as well in there which is kind of like the perks of using a lighter shade as a base colour. And then I'm going to go in with my other red marker up there and just add a little bit of shade in go back in there with that lighter one and just give it a little bit of blending and use that thinner side just to go around the edge there just to kind of finish it off and that's the thing you can just experiment see what happens if it doesn't work out don't worry and try again so i'm just gonna go with the tomato kind of theme i think with a green color that's 377 and then i'm just gonna color in this kind of vine hairdo vibes that he's got going there. <laughs> Looks like a little flick that he's got. And there we go, I'm just going to colour his body in green. I'm 
just going to draw his hands with his little individual fingers there and then I'm going to go in with a grey colour I'm going to go in with my lighter grey just so that I can build it up and that's a 5-3-5 and I'm just going to go in and add just a little bit of detail on his t-shirt there and just match it with his trousers just colour it in there So I'm going to grab my fine liner and I'm going to just start drawing around the outline of where the colour kind of changes or meets. I'm not going to go around where the um, where the highlighted areas are, I'm going to just kind of leave that as it is, but kind of around where the red meets the green or kind of the white background space, I'm just going to sharpen them up around the eyes, the pupils in the eyes and just add in any details that I can't with the markers just add in the eyebrows and the teeth and the tongue kind of shapes in there and go around the t-shirt and around the little bits of the polo and it just helps it kind of define the different parts of the drawing and there we go go around the arms and just go around the fingers like that and it's just kind of like practice makes perfect with the hands and faces and things like that so just keep practicing add a little bits of detail so like little trousers with buttons on and then I'm gonna do a little kind of bubble lettering uh, practice my typography just write red because that was our theme and then I'm just gonna go around it again in my black flat black fine liner there we go and I'm quite happy with that there we go just with the theme of red and that's what I've been inspired and created to do so there we go and now we're gonna go on to our next part so if you want to grab a piece of paper and a pen so use whatever pen you'd like and I'm gonna just start off my doodle reflection with writing doodle club just because it's our first one and I'm gonna just practice my typography there and do some bubbles around it so the aim is to just kind of fill the space with things that you may have learnt today things that you want to remember things that maybe could be better for next time and make sure that you send lots of photos in of these as well um, so that we can kind of see what you guys feel about these sessions, what you're taking from it, what, you, what you've what you learnt from it. And then I'm going to just have a little draw of the tomato theme red guy that I've done. Um, I'm just going to draw him on a different angle, try something different with him. So I'm going to draw him kind of facing a different way. Draw kind of another side profile version of him. Just quite a quick sketch, not worry about it too much. Add a little bit of colour just to kind of bring a bit more to him so it doesn't kind of get lost into the background. And then I'm going to just draw some of the planets that I kind of remember off the top of my head again. And I'm just going to draw them really, really quick just to kind of get, it's kind of trading up your drawing skills, training up your hand, training up yourself with it and that's why we say practice makes perfect. So you can just practice different letters, so I'm going to just go with Mars there because that's one of the planets that I can just remember that comes straight to mind and also Mercury and I'm going to just do some kind of scallop like kind of effect around the edge. I'm going to just outline that marker that I've done a little bit earlier. And then I'm going to go up in this corner, I'm going to just draw a really quick version of that flower that I drew as well. 
an area rather than a section. I'm going to just add the details in there. And then, inspired by my doodle from the same as the flower, I'm going to go in with some shapes. And I'm going to just go in with some kind of wobbly shapes inside and just kind of follow the empty space that's already there. And just keep on going. I'm not going to kind of think about it too much, I know I say it a lot, but it's good just to kind of just draw whatever, wherever your hand kind of takes you, just doodle away. And sometimes you have a really nice happy accident, sometimes it goes wrong, but that's all a part of learning and kind of getting better with it. And there we go. kind of enjoyed these uh, activities. I'm just going to go on them. I hope that you may have taken something or learnt something. But just as I finish off this page, just do these last little bits there. Okay, I'm nearly finished. And how satisfying is that just to kind of fill the page and just get those last four. I love it when I get there and then I can just look back. I'm just going to go in with some colour just to make some little bits pop. Seems the, the page is so full with little bits. I just kind of want to bring some of the bits out, balance it out, look at the composition of it, add little bits of grey, the colours that I've used already in the session, um, that green and the reds and stuff there. And you can just go in with different kind of thickness of pens, if you've only got biros or markers and stuff, try what kind of different effects and details that you can get with that. I'll just finish up with a little bit of peach there. And I think that is uh, all done. And uh, that is a lot of pens and markers that I've used, but super happy with that. I don't think I can hold them all there, but there we go. Well, that is the end of our first session of Doodle Club. So thank you for joining, and I hope having a little doodle with some planets and getting involved with the colour red in there as well with a character um, I hope that you really enjoyed it and yeah let us know give us some feedback and everything um, it'd be good to see some photos of your artworks as well so make sure that you send in lots of photos yeah we love seeing them it really lifts us up too as well seeing you guys get creative so uh, yeah thanks for joining us for Doodle Club and I'll um, see you next time. Stay safe guys and wash your hands.